Hey guys, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Have you ever heard of the float test? Now the float test is basically a, a, a simple thing that you can do uh, to see if certain types of seeds are viable. This is particularly useful for very large seeds uh, like acorns, which is what I'm going to talk about today. You see, we've got this beautiful oak tree that's right on the border of our property and it drops tons of acorns, at least it did, did this year. And they look like they're in really good shape. And so I'm going to try to grow some of those oak trees. And today we're going to do a float test. So let me show you. So you can see in this bag, I've got a bunch of little acorns here. They, I tried to pick the ones that looked the best, that didn't have cracks or holes or things like that in them. And you can see about their size right here. They look pretty good. Now what we're doing with the float test is we're testing to make sure that there are no hollow areas within these seeds. Because if we do have a hollow area within the seed, that could mean that there was an insect that penetrated into it and created a hollow cavity for oxygen to get in. Or it could mean that the seed is too dehydrated to actually push forward and create roots and eventually grow. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in a bucket of water. Here I'm just using a kitty litter container that's been washed out and cleaned. And we're just going to throw them in. So we've got quite a few here. So I'm going to give these about 24 hours to float. The ones that float are going to be pulled out and thrown away because they're not going to be useful to us. Uh, the ones that sink are the ones that we're going to keep. These have been in here about two minutes already. And I see I've got two down at the bottom and a lot of floating right now. I suspect the two at the bottom are going to be good. But what I am noticing here or is that there are a lot of acorns that have little holes in them. So I may as well take out the ones that have the holes in it because those probably are not going to be viable because they probably had a creature going around on the inside and eating them out on the interior of the acorn. So why would I want to make more oak trees? Well, for one thing, they are what Doug Tulamy, who is a uh, native plant genius, uh, calls a keystone species. It's basically a major plant that provides a lot of nourishment for native uh, insects, birds, animals, all kinds of things. I believe there's over 200 species that rely on oaks for their survival. So I think it's really important to uh, encourage these plants to grow and find ways to get more of them in our area. So like in my yard, I've got a ton of invasive plants that I need to get out of here. And in doing so, I will open up the areas for native plants like oak trees to grow. I've been through the woods today and I found lots of little seedlings of oak trees out there. But why not encourage more to grow and maybe give some of these away or sell them to people in the local area so that they can put them in their yards and their gardens and grow oak trees that are going to help support the native uh, wildlife. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about with these. And as you can see here, we've got a lot of them that are in this bucket. And that could be a lot of potential uh, trees in the future. So we'll just wait and see what these do and then go from there. Okay, guys, it's been a little over 24 hours and I wanted to check on these acorns. So let's take a look and see. So you can tell at the top we definitely have some floaters. So we're going to just take those and we're going to get rid of them because they're not going to really do anything for us. But if you look down into the bottom of all this, we've got quite a few sinkers. Check those out down there in the bottom. Those we're going to put into a large pot and put with a little bit of soil and protect them from squirrels and things. And then next year, we should see some uh, new oak saplings. Okay, so right here I got a really large pot that I used for some potatoes earlier in the season. And I'm just going to reuse this particular pot and the dirt. And you can see where I dumped out the potatoes on this piece of plastic. So I'm going to take the leftover dirt from there, toss it on top of the acorns. Generally, you're going to want to go about two uh, acorn widths deep with the acorn to put it in here. Think about it. You're simulating what a squirrel or a chipmunk might be doing in the ground, uh, which those plant those all the time so they're experts at this thing aren't they but anyway here's what we got we've got this whole bucket full that looks like i got another floater let's get rid of that and i'm going to dump the water all right so here you can see we got quite a few acorns i'm going to scoot them around and spread them out and what i will most likely end up needing to do is separate them out later as they grow into seedlings we'll have to do it early on soon after they are germinated 
but we'll squish those down so they make good contact with the soil. And then we're gonna take some dirt and put over top of them. And so to protect them, I'm gonna cover them with this little mesh. It's a fire pit cover from a fire pit that we're not currently using. Ideally, you'd wanna use some sort of chicken wire or something like this, but this should work okay, as long as the squirrels don't decide to come up and through the little holes there and the gaps, in which case I'm gonna to need to move things around. But that's really all there is to it for now. And now we gotta wait until spring. So hopefully when spring comes, we'll get a lot of great germination from these oak trees and be able to pot them up individually so they can grow on uh, and be nice strong oak trees to help our environment, to help the forest, the gardens, and all the wildlife around us. So I'm Dave with Run Home Garden. I hope this was interesting. If so, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.